Okay, uh, this is another movie in the series using a map window GIS. And in this series, uh, this particular movie, we're going to show how to uh, draw in waterways um, and distance to waterways as we work with that, and even how you could actually add other conservation practices that may exist on your farm. So here's the farm again as we look at it. And I'm going to zoom in because I know I have a, and actually at this point, I could actually turn off the fields. So I can see that whole map again. I just do that by clicking that check mark there in front of the word fields and that turns those off. And I'm going to zoom in here over on the east side of the farm and there's a big waterway coming down to this pond here. So I'll zoom in there and again I just held my mouse button down and drew a box around that area with this zoom button selected and zoomed into the size of that box. And there's a pond down here and then there's just waterway coming down through here to that pond. So I'm going to come into MMP Tools again, and I'm going to add a layer here as we come down here. And here you got several. You got your feature layers, but what I want to actually add is I want to add our practice because a waterway, a grass waterway, is a practice, a conservation practice. So I'm going to click on that, and we're going to just call it a grass water waterway as we look at it. And all the features that we draw in with this will be in grassed waterways. So we'll just click OK. Um, it'll create this whole new feature over here. You notice it also highlighted it. That means that's the one I'm going to edit because that's the one selected there. And then I can add plus shape here. And when I click plus shape, I'm just going to start clicking here at the top. And just like we drew in the field boundaries in the other video, um, just kind of click anchors wherever. We want that waterway to follow, and it's going to come all the way down here into the pond. And then I, when I'm done, I'm just going to right click, and then it's going to give me a practice name, and I'm just going to call it Grassed Waterways. I can call it a different name if I want a different practice on it, name on it, but we'll call it a Grass Waterway. And then it's going to ask for a code, because if we're using this for conservation planning or manure management planning, we want codes on every possible practice there. If I don't know what the code is, I'll click on View Practices, and that'll open up a website again, and I'll go to this, and again, this program is very interactive with the web, and I'll go to the NRCS USDA website, and I'll pause while this loads. So once that comes up, you have this website, and not National Conservation, National, blah, 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 excuse me a minute here. Sorry about that. National Conservation Practice Standards. And click on that. That'll basically take you a list of all the possible conservation practices and the codes that relate to that. And obviously, we're not NRCS. We're just students working up creating a map. But everything is listed in there. And it's an alphabetical. And if I scroll on down to the G's, we can see if grass waterway is in here. Um, and it says right there, grass waterway. The code, and you can look up the information about it um, related to as a conservation practice, but the code we want is right there, 412. So that's a practice that we're going to insert into map window when we call it a grass waterway. So we'll come back here to map window and go to 412. That's the code for grass waterway. Next question they ask is how far back do I want to be from that grass waterway with my manure setback? And remember earlier I talked about these setbacks, these red areas? Okay, that's still checked there. It's automatically going to create it. And I'm going to say I don't want to be within 60 feet of a grassed waterway. So I'm going to set a setback of 60 feet. Um, practice consider water and phosphorus loss risk assessment. I'm just going to leave that unchecked for now. That's what we're doing with this. Um, click OK. Um, that will then create that grassed waterway, and it puts the buffer on it as we look at it. Um, so there's other waterways here. There's one over here on the left side also, and that's actually a creek. Um, we'll give that a different name. And then we've got these waterways coming down through here. Um, you can draw all those in if you want, but mainly I'm concerned about this main one. I'll draw a couple more in here, and then I'll show you what the map looks like when I get the rest of the waterways done for our college farm here. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on fields, and I'm going to come down with that right mouse and zoom to layer. That takes me out to the fields that I've drawn. And you don't see the fields. If we turn them back on, you can see them. Um, but it fills the window with the fields. So that's the way I can zoom around a little bit as we look at this. So actually, as I look over it, I think for now, just to keep this simple and straightforward, we're just going to have that one grass waterway in there. There are some other water sources, though, on this farm. And the other is on the west side and then actually through the center here and then over on the west side. These are really streams right now because they typically have running water in them most of the year. And we're going to cold that different. So I'm going to go in ahead and add a new um, practice. So we're going to come up to MMP Tools. We're not going to call it a grass water. We're going to call it a different type of practice. So we're going to go to Add Layer. Come down here. We're going to call those, again, a practice layer. 
and we're going to call those streams since they pretty much have water in them most of the time. And I'm going to click OK with that. And then I'm going to add the streams in. And this stream basically starts about here on this one and draw that in. And comes on down outside of the farm here. And right click to finish. And we're going to call this stream. And then again, to view the practice, I can click that, or if I still have it open, I can come back here to my website. And we don't actually have streams, because these are things we're trying to do to improve conservation, but we could classify this as stream habitat improvement and management. So we want to manage the area around that stream somehow. And that's code 395. So we'll call this code 395 here as we look at it. And next to a water stream, I'm probably going to put a little bigger buffer behind on that. Uh, maybe I'll make this one 100 feet. Um, you can, and I'm taking random numbers here for this practice, this idea we're working with. But we'll go with 100 feet on this one as we sit that. So then I'll just click OK. Again, those setbacks, you can look those up some places. Um, again, we're just practicing and working with this. Um, so um, actually, it should look a little bit better. So there's another stream over here. I'll draw that in quick and uh, pause while we do that. Okay, so that does a couple of our streams in there with 100-foot setbacks in there. One other water source that I want to get in here is our pond. So again, we're going to come up here to add a new practice, MMP tools, as we look at them. Um, add layer and this time we're going to pick a polygon because it's actually not just a line it's a circle around similar to what we did with the fields but this is going to be a pond now so we're going to practice layer we're just going to call it a farm pond as we look at it we're going to click OK on that we're going to go ahead and again you know this farm pond has been added up here we're going to go ahead and zoom into that pond again just hit that zoom button draw a box around the pond click in there um, and we're going to come over here now, make sure pond is highlighted, hit plus shape, and draw in a boundary around our farm pond as we look at it. Again, clicking as we go to get this done. Now, um, you notice up above the pond there, there's a sediment trap base, and I realize most of you are you're doing the college farm here for uh, at least practice. Uh, don't know everything, but get it kind of close. Um, we're learning the tools here, not everything. When you do your own, obviously, uh, hopefully you're a little more accurate, a little more familiar with them if you do your own farm as we work with that. So again, we come to our practice page, and a pond is number 378. So we're just going to type that in as a practice as we go with it. So we'll call it a farm pond. And practice is 378. Um, again, setback. Um, I'm going to go 100 feet on this also because it is standing water as we look at it. And then it says clip any overlapping fields this time around. Sometimes you'll get that, sometimes you won't. Um, if you want to clip out, in other words, we're not going to farm near that pond, that would make sense. Um, but in reality, we're going to farm what we can farm. Uh, so at least for what we're doing here, we're just going to treat it as a non-spreadable area where we don't want to put manure. Um, and we may still farm up to that, we just won't put manure that close as we create our map. And then we'll just click OK and that'll create our farm. And it'll ask me again about clipping overlapping fields. Um, we'll click, uh, are you sure you want, don't want to? I'm going to say yes with that. Um, because it would have clipped out some of these field areas where I'm farming up to. So, so then that's going to just right click on fields and zoom to that layer again. So we got the whole farm in here. And you can see I've got my two streams. I got my one waterway and my farm pond. And that's just the basics of here. We're not getting a lot of detail in this video. Um, but there's a lot more things we can add. Um, we can add additional practices. There's some terraces on this farm. And most of you may not be familiar with that. Again, guess where things are at as you're drawing this for practice. But this is what your map should kind of look like when you get all those things done with that. The last thing I want to do is distance to water. And that's up here in MMP Tools again. And what do you mean by distance to water? Well, we'll come on down here um, and add a layer. And you come down here, distance to water layer. So I want to know from the center of the field how far it is to the nearest water area. You also have other distance. You can slope length layer. Uh, there's a few other things you can do. But we're just going to do distance to water right now. So click on that. 
and you see that came up here again as another feature and I'm going to click plus shape and I'm going to click on the center of the field and we'll just start with field one here uh, click the center of the field nearest water we're going to say is that waterway click and end it yep and that puts that line in same thing over here click over to this waterway whoops sorry about that we have to do plus shape first um, tell you that but I don't do it so Again, center of the field over to the creek here, click and end that as we look at it. Um, so we'll do that for every field here and I'll pause while I do that. Okay, so there is our map as we look at it. I'll finish with the fields in it and all the practices. Um, if I just want a picture of my fields, I can turn that, just turn that on, turn off everything else. So um, first thing I'm going to do here is just turn these off, see how they turn them off, it disappears, and all i got left is my fields. If I want everything in there, um, just turn them back on. could also possibly turn on my soils layer, although that does kind of mess it up a little bit, but that gives me all the details of the farm there um, as we look at it. Uh, come up here, go, well, let's just do the, um, at this point, we're just going to do the fields. Um, so I'm going to turn off everything but fields, and I want to export this map so I'm gonna come up here to edit and it's a weird place to put this but it's under edit and we're gonna to go to export under edit and we're gonna export the map and we click export map um, I'm gonna call it my farm fields and you notice it's putting it as a image is what it's gonna do and again make sure it's saved in that same file you've been saving into um, you can have a choice of one the smallest one actually is JPEG to take up the least amount of memory so I'm just gonna call it a JPEG um, as I hit my drop down list and I'm going to save that um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all the other things I've drawn in um, here also as well as my soils um, and then I'm going to also edit and export that that shows me everything that's on my map and again we'll export map and um, in this one I'm going to call farm practices whoops ah come on can't spell practices and come down here and again make that a JPEG and we'll save that and those are images if you open them up um, you just click open the farm fields and there's my farm field map um, just as an image um, and if you're doing this for an assignment that's what you would upload there's my practices with everything in it um, and this is the image when you're done what it should look like um, as you work with it. So uh, have any questions, just let me know. Hopefully uh, this video helped you work with the program.